Hello everyone, my name is Octavian, and I'm here in place of David to show you how to download Unreal Engine and create a new project. We're going to do that because the next few tutorials right after you finish with animating are going to be about programming the game, so we need to do this. Anyway, the first step that I'm going to take is just go to the download page for Unreal Engine. This doesn't actually download Unreal Engine, it downloads the Epic Games Launcher, so if you already have that because you love Fortnite, you can just skip this. Well, not the entire tutorial, but you can skip this part of the tutorial. Anyway, I got here by just searching for download Unreal Engine 5, which seems to be a pretty common search result, so just go to the first link. Now, I'm going to click Download Launcher, and then wait for it to download. Okay, with the installer downloaded, the next step is pretty obviously just to click on the installer and open it. So I'm going to just do that if that worked. Oh, it did. Okay, great. All right. So now you click install. And then just wait. This is going to take a while. So just, you know, I don't know, go make yourself a coffee or something. But we'll, we'll speed this part up. Okay, now we got to this part of the process. Epic Game Launcher is going to ask us to sign in or sign up. You can go ahead and either make an account if you scroll down somewhere around here, um, which I think you actually just do by inputting your email here, or you can just log in with Google or something of that sort. I'm going to log in with my email and I'm going to blur it so you can't see it for now. This is my personal email, so let's not show it. All right, great. Now we're in the Epic Games Launcher. If you haven't seen this because you don't play Fortnite or like free games, I guess, then the most important part for us here is this Unreal Engine tab right here. This is what we care about. Inside this, you're going to see news, samples, marketplace. We don't really care about any of these at the moment. We're just going to head to the library. In the library, we're going to immediately see a part that says Engine Versions. Now, in engine versions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus button right here, which says install a new version of the Unreal Engine. And right there, it's going to pop up just a little tab with a Unreal Engine version. In this case, it is the latest kind of release version, that being 5.3.2. There is a 5.4 version, but it's still in preview. So we're not going to install that one. Now, let's just click install. That's all we need to do right here. I'm going to install it right where it prompts us to and just click install. Just accept whatever prompts it pops up. Just everything will be okay. You are very unlikely to be hacked by Epic Games. All right, that took a while. All right, now that we have our engine installed, our next step is to launch it. That might take another while. So let's just speed that up too. Great, now the engine is open. All right. The only thing we need to do now is we're going to go to games. Under games, we're going to click on third person. This is going to install the third person template for us immediately. We're going to need this one because it comes with a mannequin, which we're going to use because it's skeleton is what David is using to animate things. Well, actually, you've been using it too. So we're going to be using that basically. Now, I'm going to click keep the default project location. You can move it around as much as you want. This doesn't really matter. And... For the project name, I'm going to call this one FPS Hut. You know, that sounds cooler. So we'll just call it that. Um, you can keep all these things as they are. Just make sure you don't click on C++. That may, might make things a little more inconvenient for you. So just don't do that for now if you're a beginner. And click Create. Boom, that's it. We have the project open. We have Unreal Engine installed. You can kind of look around the scene. Um, if you don't know much about the controls for Unreal Engine, a good bet would actually be to watch a tutorial on that. There's plenty of them online, so we're not going to do that in this tutorial. But in any case, that's the, that's the level. You can click play and actually play around. We have the mannequin. Check that out. Pretty cool. One last thing I'm going to do, just to make David's life a little easier, and yours as well, for the next tutorial, 
we're going to set up the project kind of structure or at least the folders for it that that's what we're going to do in this last part and what we're going to do for that is first of all we're just going to right click and click on new folder i'm going to make a folder that's called the same thing as the tutorial so we're just going to call it fps tutorial i'm going to double click on it to open it it's going to pop up here too by the way if you're not kind of familiar with the structure of unreal engine i clicked on the content drawer here which is just going to open kind of our project folder structure and the contents so inside of our fps tutorial i'm going to right click again and make a folder this one i'm going to call art we're going to put everything art related in this folder so that's going to be models animations the skeleton that we're going to use if we want to so basically everything is going to go into that that is art related i'm going to also make another folder i'm going to call this one core this is basically the folder where we're going to put all of the blueprints in the project. At the very least, the main important ones that have functionality in them. So that's going to be our character blueprint. That's going to be our player controller. That's going to be a lot of that stuff. Then I'm going to make another one. I'm going to call this one data. Now, data is going to be things that only really contain variables. So data assets. If you're not familiar with data assets, you don't really need to know much about them at the moment. But really, they just contain some sort of data. That's it. It's just a file with some data. Um, we're also going to put input actions in there. We're going to explain that in a future tutorial and plenty of stuff like that. Now, the only thing left now is to go into the art folder. And in here, just to make your life a tiny bit easier, and also David's because he hasn't recorded his tutorial yet, we're going to right-click New Folder. And I'm going to make a folder called Assault Rifle. Inside Assault Rifle, I'm going to make a, a few folders. One is going to be the Animations folder. Another one is going to be the Meshes folder. Another one is going to be the Textures folder. And then the last one, which I'm going to create from here just because that's cooler, is going to be the Materials folder. Now, since we're using Git, if you don't know what Git is, just ignore this for now but it's basically a sort of file sharing solution empty folders don't really get shared so one thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to put something in them for that i'm just going to right click and inside them i'm going to add something in my case it's going to be just some miscellaneous curve a float curve you don't really need to know much about float curves but i'm just going to put one this is just going to be my placeholder so placeholder and copy that one to absolutely every single folder that does not have other folders in them i'm not sure if i copied it there i did not so just copy it same for core and same for data one other thing that i'm going to do is in the third person folder or in the characters folder actually, there is a mannequins folder. This folder contains all of the rig information and character for the main mannequin character. I'm going to move all of this inside of our art folder. This is just purely to organize the project and make it easier to work with. So I'm just gonna move that. One important thing to keep in mind is that sometimes when you move things in Unreal Engine, some sort of temporary files that keep track of where things were are created. To fix that and to make sure you don't have any issues in the future, I'm going to go to the content folder, right click and click fix up redirectors. That's going to make sure that we do not have any issues with that. With that all done, we are now finished with the tutorial. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, probably didn't quite enjoy it, but I hope that was very useful to you. And I will see you in the next part, which is going to be in a few parts. Have a fun time and make sure you create some cool games.